something has arrived. S say what? <laughs> Holy freaking cow. What's up, you guys? My name is Crump. Hold on a second. We should probably... Bam. Hey, now we're ready. What's up, you guys? My name is Crump from Van City Van Life, and this is the Van Life headquarters. The... I don't even know what to call this space yet. I've, I've called it so many things in videos. I've called it, like, the bunker, base camp, the compound, the headquarters. Ah... Should we name the shop or should we just leave it as just like the shop? <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, we recently got this space and a part of having this space was to kit this whole thing out with tools. So bam, we did a thing. I reached out to a whole bunch of companies trying to find one who wanted to work with my vision moving forward with this shop space. And uh, Rigid came on board and was like, we'd love to help you all, Chrome. So I have some really great ideas in the new year that I haven't told you guys about that I want to do with this shop space. Not only do we have this amazing, whoa, 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 bam, that thing's pretty crazy looking, isn't it? Not only do we have that ambulance project to start from myself, I have some amazing things coming up in the new year that is going to allow me to put all of these tools to some amazing use helping people. And oh, I wanna help some people with the space that we have here. And I will let you guys know what that stuff all looks like as we get into the new year. But I just wanna thank Rigid for having our backs on this. And I think between Rigid and the Rayobi brand, oh, by the way, bam! They gave me a box of Box of Ryobi swag too. <laughs> Look at this man, Look at this. it goes down there for days. But I see a lot of really cool things happening between Ryobi and Rigid coming up in the new year for helping some other van dwellers with their van builds. And oh man, you guys, I it's gonna be a good year next year. Whoo, it's gonna be a good year, let me tell you. Anyway, there's more than just that, bam! You guys know what that is? <laughs> Look at that thing. All nice and shiny. Won't be for long. That's a miter saw. Bam! That is a table saw. <laughs> Look at this thing. So, it's always nice when you look at tools before they get dirty, because this is gonna be a mess in absolute no time. Needless to say, I am really, really excited to finally get this shop up, running, and functional and start working <laughs> on that ambulance build. I know the first thing that's going to be used on that ambulance is the sander. Lots of it. So let's start opening up some of these packages here and check out what's going on. Ooh-wee! And what I plan on doing with uh, a lot of things in the shop is connecting them to a dust collection system. Um, all these on here have holes, so when you connect the hose to it, it'll pull the dust through, or at least as much as we can pull through anyway. So this sander is getting a ton of work because all this whole thing needs to be sanded down. We got some fiberglass bodywork and stuff to get started on with this thing, but yeah. <laughs> Am I seriously wearing my hat on sideways? I'm like a kid in a candy store. Like this is the most craziest thing that's ever happened in my life. Come on, I am sitting here with a ginormous pile of tools. <laughs> Ooh, let's open up this bad boy. Man, does the grip on this thing ever feel awesome. It's got this rubbery, really nice, comfortable texture. Woo! This little piece is why I wanted that exact circular saw. It's a dust collection port. Snaps right on top of there. Bada bam, this one comes off, that one goes on. And you can connect a hose on there and it'll keep the dust down. 
this one I am really, really pumped about. It's a high torque, half inch impact. How many of you have been to like automotive mechanic shops that have like an air impact tool that goes bah, really loud, runs on a big compressor? Well, that's what this thing replaces. This is insane. It's high torque, which means you could use it on all those stuck bolts. This will take off also all your wheels and stuff too as well. But this one actually legitimately can replace you using an air compressor for air tools. And that's pretty awesome to see that the battery stuff is getting to the point where it's replacing some of the traditional um, air items because air compressors, they're big and loud. Woo, you can feel this thing rock. <laughs> uh, I just got a text message from Mark, the paint guy, um, the gentleman that helped me uh, get my van all done with that polyurethane coating on it. Um, you guys remember Junior? He's the kid that I hired, that I met at my meetup that sanded his face off for <laughs> like weeks on my thing. And uh, well, when I was out there, I, am I still wearing this thing sideways? When I was out there, I bought him a diesel heater for his van because I didn't want him to get cold in the winter. And then Mark messaged me the other day and said, Chrome, he's sleeping in minus 25 degrees Celsius weather out here. He doesn't have the money to get all the rest of the parts for his heater. So they were teaming up together, like all of them were trying to get him some, some batteries and other little things to get him started and get him going. So I sent out some cash to Mark yesterday and uh, Mark's response to that was like, dude, what the, f that'll cover the entire setup. Anyway, Mark just messaged me now and said, update on our brother Bruce. Uh, he picked up two AGM batteries, uh, some battery connectors, some cables, um, a solar panel, a little Renogy uh, charge controller, um, and filled up his gas tank and stuff. And Mark just said, thanks a bunch for your support. That money yesterday filled the order nicely. Um, share the love, you guys. You know, if you have a little cash in your pocket and, and you know somebody around you that could use just a little bit of love, give it. Because at the end of the day, you know, like if you have everything you need, why not share a little bit of the leftover, you know? So Bruce, my bro, stay warm this winter, my friend. Okay, let's get back to my Christmas. This is 100% my Christmas. Ooh, man, this router feels good in the hand. It's got that same rubber stuff here as well, too. <laughs> I'm loving this stuff, man. This stuff looks good. Why do they get to do this? <laughs> Inside the boxes, is more things that you can add to your tool list if you need to. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Now we gotta find a place to put all of these tools. I'm thinking I may build a rack system. Genius, look at all these great ideas. I think I wanna build a couple of those. <laughs> Making a little trek to the recycling place to get rid of all those boxes that we opened up here today. And then we're gonna stop and pick up a couple sheets of plastic. That 
that's how much the ambulance weighs. 3,625 kilograms. Look how dirty I am. How, how do you, I just bought two sheets of plywood. How do you get this dirty? <laughs> oh my keys. <laughs> ah. Are you being good security? Grabbing a Tim's before we head back to the shop. All right, let's try this bad boy out. Look how good this is. This miter saw has got a little LED light in there. That's awesome and it lights up all down here, you can see it. This is super sweet. So I got this temporarily set up. It's hooked up to the vacuum hose back there so we could remove some of the dust anyway. I tried my hardest to get the best wood possible, but the wood supply right now is just horrible. Like every, everything I grabbed had chunks missing out of it or splits. Like these pieces of wood, I couldn't find anything that wasn't damaged. I feel for anybody building out a camper van right now looking for good quality wood. Not unless you get there right away when those pallets are full, but today when I went in, it was like down to the bottom, bottom of the stack. And anytime you get the bottom of the stack is when people have pulled it out, put it back, grabbed the good ones, and put, left the bad ones there. Uh, it was the same way when I was grabbing two by fours, uh, sheets of plywood as well too. These ones are all dinged up in the corner, some chunks missing. The good thing is, is if you mention that to the place you're at, that, hey man, these are in horrible shape. I got all of these for 50% off and he gave me 25% off my sheets of plywood today because they're damaged all down the one side. So uh, it's good to be vocal about stuff like that because you can save yourself a tiny bit of money. Way better than using the drill that I've been <laughs> using since day one. Whoa, just drive it in there. I never turned the, the vacuum on for that one. That was one cut. It made a total mess. Got all over the hose. <laughs> I seen a little thing online that when you turn on the power tool, it'll automatically turn on the vacuum system. So I may look into doing that because as much as I can keep the dust down here, that would be amazing. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Do I have a plan? <laughs> no. I am sinking this into the table. So I figured if I mounted it in there, that'll be enough to hold it in place. I'll two by four around here just to kind of keep it fully secured in but there's still room for those drawers to move open. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time reaching into the back of the drawer, but for the most part, a majority of that drawer is sticking out, except for the last part, no big deal. I could notch this out a little bit. Ah, that'll do just fine. I put all of these in by hand with a hand tool, one quarter turn at a time. Look at that's what happens, man, when you work with the right tools. Shut up. This is crazy. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. It's sunken back a little bit farther than I wanted, but you know, all in all, it's not that bad. It's only like. Oh, this is great. Pretty good, and I'm going to put wheels on the bottom. I have six casters. That way this thing is movable if I need to. Not bad. Oh, 
<laughs> so good. Did I not say that I was gonna build a place to store these? Wasn't that the original intention? <laughs> ah. Because right now I got all these tools laid out all over the floor. And that was my original thought today was let's, let's make something so I can take all that stuff, mount it up there on the wall and over there on the wall. But turns out that we ended up making that great table. It's not quite done yet. It's a little late in the day. I don't feel like doing any more. But yeah, these I need to drive some screws through to connect the legs to both the top and on the bottom. And what I may do, because I will see, once I start driving some screws through here to anchor this into that cabinet, it may be stable enough. If it's not, I'm gonna put some support beams through here just to give it some more rigidity. <laughs> you know? I know this van life channel of mine is about van life. And things have been changing here a little bit now that we got ourselves the little shop space. But just you wait and see the stuff that we're going to put together right here inside of my shop. So this will be a learning experience for all of us. Like my channel has been since the very beginning. Just a full-blown life <laughs> experiment. So what I'm hoping now that we have this space is when we are in here... Um, after it's all set up, of course, we got to set this shop up first before we can start doing any kind of van related stuff. But I'm hoping that the videos that we create in this space are just lessons that you and me will learn together about building vans, about installing roof vents or insulating and, uh, cause the ambulance is fiberglass and has a weird shape. So I'm going to have to learn how to frame and, and weld and things that we're all going to learn together. I'm going to learn how to weld. Me. <laughs> this is going to be one wild ride for sure. So thank you guys for being here with us. Thanks for watching all these shop videos because I was a little unsure about putting the shop stuff on this channel because I've been living in that van forever. I still live in that van every night. Like I'm leaving here after I say goodbye, we're gonna go, you know, hit the side of a road somewhere. I was worried about sharing the shop space on this channel because it's different. You know what I mean? It's different. I don't think it's gonna change a lot on the travel, adventure, and backcountry perspective because that's what I do for me. And I'm hoping that we all get to learn a few things together right here inside of the shop. So thank you guys for being here. And I want to thank the crew over at Rigid for supplying me with some tools to make all this stuff happen. And we are going to help so many people upcoming in the new year. And I am pumped about it. All right, everybody. Peace out and see you later. Okay. Cruzy, where you at, buddy? People are wondering, like, where's Mr. Cruzy? Dum, 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 dum. Hey, bud. Peace out. <laughs> click these buttons. Click, click them. Click the the Patreon and the and the subscribe ones. They're right there. <sighs>